What is up guys? Just want to go over a little future project here. Especially why the wife doesn't want us inside while she's cooking Thanksgiving meal. So we're going to just do a little review here. You know that I have the two cube heat pumps on the side. One old Goodman Junker came with the house and then the one Frankenstein Lennox three phase that I have running over there with the VFD. Been running fine for quite a while now. So I've got these two outdoor units. I have a few high walls, but not going to use them. I already took one of them and you saw Frankenstein did to use it in my garage connected to a Frederick unit. But these units, I'm not exactly sure what the history is. They're pretty new and they were like takeoffs or something. There were some issues. So may may not run if they were all hooked up but i'm not going to take that chance i noticed i mean this stuff was disconnected you know when i got into it i disconnected that because i was reading the pinouts and i almost thought maybe i could use this uh variable speed drive you know to run the compressor because i noticed i had like some speed reference signals and everything but it actually uses communication between the two boards so that's not going to work so it I want to use these cabinets because I need more room over there for my RV gate and these are like tall and skinny. I could put them real close, you know, a lot closer to the wall. I could gain over a foot probably or about a foot. So plan A right now, and I'm still debating between some of those plans. Plan A is just to get all this, these circuit boards out of here, remove the rotary compressor, remove all the piping because it's a four port, right? Gonna keep the reversing valve and put in a scroll compressor. Just the same exact compressor that's in the Lennox now, basically. Put that in there, repipe it, make this into my heat pump, just basically using the fans and the, the coil and the cabinet. But everything else, my VFD will sit in here real nice and everything. That's plan A, it's probably where I'm going. Um, plan B would be if I could somehow keep the compressor in here and use it the rotary but very slim chance of that um to use a vfd i guess i need one of those vector ones they're talking about that actually can keep the sync keep the dc motor synchronized <laughs> you know, i use the regular vfd as soon as it loses sync it just wigs out and halts you know so probably gonna go plan a because this could be very reliable it's just basically all the controls for the most part that i'm using now in my linux unit just putting it in here but the verbal frequency drive I have more of those that are new and then I just got to hook up these fan motors now here's the deal with these fan motors it's pretty interesting I'm like cool I don't know how these fan motors are wired you know because I just got done interfacing the same control scheme with the indoor blower on that carrier high wall to make it work with the Fredericks unit so I'm very familiar with this right now the uh, the signal in the feedback signal back all that stuff so, but when I just kind of was following the wiring on this, I'm like, here's the outdoor fan motor wires, it looks like, right here and here, fan one and fan two. I'm like, oh, those are not uh, that scheme. These are actually just like, you know, three-phase DC motors, like your compressor is. I'm like, shit. Well, I could probably hook that right up to a VFD, and as long as you change the speed slowly, it probably wouldn't lose sync, but I'm like, dang. But then I got looking at this, um, IPM board, basically it's in a little inverter board for the outdoor fans. I'm looking at this wiring harness right here and I recognized something and that's why I went and printed this out. This output here on the main IPM board, the inverter board for the compressor, which and then this is the output for the outdoor fan, right? You could plug one of these fan motors directly into this right here and that would be High voltage, common, right there. You know, your high voltage and common. And then you are uh, got your white, yellow, blue, white, yellow, blue. White's your power. Your uh, yellow is your speed. Telling what the fan, because it's got electronics in it, well, would have electronics in it. It would be telling it what speed to go. And this would be that, you know, pulse coming back, which is your uh, feedback of what speed it's actually doing, just so the microprocessor knows. Well, these motors are just three-phase DC motors basically so 
I could just keep this and I know how this works. So I could actually keep this board in here. It has one interface it looks like. Unless I'm missing something. Nope, just that's it. Wow, they're the spare parts, dude. I did not leave these in here loose, whatever they go to. Um, yeah, that's it. So this has just the power in with the uh, speed signals in and out and then the, the two fan motors. So I could use this board. All I have to do is hook this up to my DC bus, the black and the red, and then um, using my own little controller to uh, send in the signal here. I don't actually, I can ignore this feedback. The only thing is, you know, would never stop or st attempting to drive the motor if something was wrong or anything like that. So I could, I could actually read the feedback signal and give it some tolerance. And then if it actually, something's going on with one of the motors, I could actually make it shut off on a safety or something if I program that in. But yeah, so I could use that on mine and pretty much remove all this and looks like there's plenty of room to put my scroll down in there just slap my vfd up there that'd be pretty cool actually and these motors are pretty efficient nice and quiet i think this would be awesome so that's the idea this is your uh let's see, the top one here that's the refrigerant layout on this sucker i'm going to repurpose like a four-way valve uh which it should be hooked right off the compressor so I should be able to just keep that in there, just put it on my scroll helmet list. I just printed out some pages that pertaining to what I want to look at. Here's the layout of all the control boards. And then here's the uh, one between the main board and the main IPM board. And then here's your little cable I'm talking about that goes to this uh, DC motor driver board um, for the two outdoor fan motors on this model. So I'll keep this and I'll take these out. Like I said, if, if, if I knew how to control this inverter board, I would love to keep it in there. If it was something simple, you know, as far as communication, I would, I don't know, it's kind of a little above my normal abilities on the electronics. But uh, if I kind of, if it was a pretty simple uh, signals that they were sending, though, it, it could be something I could maybe... Uh, build a controller, you know, with a little microcontroller or something, where it was just sending commands. If it didn't, if it, if, if it just sending it a command to do something and, and, and this board didn't care about anything, you know, special signals wise, as long as it was just getting updates and it would spit signals back, but I would just ignore it. Um, I, I would be able to maybe use this board because I have the feeling it might actually be that simple, but it has all sorts of like, uh, it seems like it has like speed reference and feedback or whatever. Like you see fan one pulse width modulator modulation and then fan one speed and then fan two PWM and fan two speed. And then, then it ha but it has receive and transmit those two wires. And then PFC dash C, I don't know what that is unless that's just a common. Well, we got a ground right next to it. Not ground, a bunch of grounds. Who knows? I just wish that was simple. I've seen stuff that was simple. It would be like a 0 to 15 volt, you know, reference going into an inverter board. And, it, and that just was your speed, you know, request. And then it just did it. If that was possible, I would just leave this in there. Man, run that compressor. That would be awesome. But don't think that's going to happen. So it's probably going to be plan A. Just some stuff to think about. If anybody's watching the video and kind of knows a little more about those, maybe they'll chime in. But it's usually not the kind of thing that HVAC techs think about. <laughs> I'm one of the few freaks that probably does. <laughs> so, get to see it. And by the way, this will be a times two thing. And when I do switch the Goodman unit out, hopefully before next summer with one of these, um, I'll have to change the air handler up in the attic. So I'll have to buy one of those. <laughs> Unless I use this pancake one up there. But, it's, I don't know. It's probably not worth what it takes to redo all my duct work when I could just buy an air handler. But I don't know. You know, 
with all the let's go Brandon shit going on right now. You might not even be able to buy an air handler. Anyway, like and subscribe. Continue to watch the Frankenstein videos. Catch you guys all later.